Alrighty, we are live. We are here. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the live stream. Major pain? Question mark. What do you have a question about, buddy? We are doing a live stream tonight. Just hanging out. It's kind of what we do on the live streams. Just hang out. Answer some questions. Say hello. Hang out with each other. So, what's up, Terrence? Terrence in the house. I'm trying to export this video and it's taking forever so I figured I would come to a live stream while we're getting this video rolling so how's everybody's weekend everybody's Sunday good what's up F F I apologize if I say your name wrong Fung Vo I am so sorry if I say that wrong but hello hello What's up, Serena? Serena's in the house. Sarah, no, the grasshoppers are gone. There's like, there's some left, but very, very few. So they're pretty much gone. So, let me know any questions that you guys have about anything. And we'll just hang out here for I know I always say a little bit, but probably this one will be about 45 minutes for sure. So, hey Cheryl, Cheryl's in the house watching some of your older videos. I appreciate that. I have a lot of good older videos that, um, you know, people don't tend to go diving deep through your channel. So yeah, I mean, I have a ton of like older videos that are really good, that are more like vlog style, more motivational, seeing you know my life before I lived in Vegas, but when I lived in Florida and California, and sharing a little bit more of like my personal life besides just me giving you tips and stuff. So those are the videos that I, I actually, I really like doing. I really like doing like the vlog style and taking people through my day and, and providing that motivation and, and really inspiring people. That's what I really enjoy. Like these Vegas videos are cool, but you know, I'm glad that they help you guys. I'm glad that people are getting value out of it, but that's definitely not like, you know, the type of video that I love making by any means, but they're doing good. The channel's growing. So We'll keep with it. But yeah, I have a lot of really older videos that are really good. If you guys haven't seen any of those, check them out. Steph, what's up, man? Love the video about yesterday. Some of the rest of ever. Dudes never learn. Treat guys like chewing gum. <laughs> yeah, I mean, guys do it too. You know, guys will manipulate and the same thing. But I think you have to be cautious on both ends, whether you're male or female, but you know, that's a whole rabbit hole we could go down, but very inspiring. Well, thank you, Cheryl. I'm glad somebody watches them. How long have you lived on Vegas? Um, I've been here for a year and a month. So where do I plan on going next? I'm probably gonna be going back to Florida in January more than likely not that I don't like Vegas I do like Vegas I just miss home and I have a lot of good people and as you get older you start to realize that time is limited and that things can change very quickly so you know I just I miss home how much rent is your one bedroom well, this one was 1080 when I moved in last year, and it gave me a free month. So my first month was free. So if you factor in the free month over the course of a 12-month lease, it was around 980 per month um, with the incentive. So my lease just went up to 1180, and I only did six months. And the six month was actually $20 cheaper than the year. So. If I had done a year lease again, it would have been 1200. I did the six month for 1180 again because I think I'm probably going to be moving in January, so I didn't want to do a year. I don't know why I didn't see them before. Sometimes the older ones, like when you scroll down, they don't always load right away. Sometimes you have to wait. 
a couple minutes till they appear. Well, not not minutes literally, but. <clears throat> Exactly why I've been single. I mean, it's nice to have somebody when you found the right person, but being single is a lot cheaper. It's less stressful. Um, I don't know. Right now, that's just where I'm at. But tried Jersey Mike's for the first time. Oh, way better than Subway. Way better than Subway. Jersey Mike's is awesome. Their Italian is really good, and the... Um, the Big Kahuna Cheesecake is really, really good. Very late stream. Well, I mean, I usually start at about 9, so it's not it's not too much later than normal. But if you're on the East Coast, yeah, it's late. But over here, this is, this is typically when I start, 8.39. Some dude, not bad, good info. Awesome, man. I'm glad you enjoy it and you get some value out of it. Um, yeah, I mean, your typical one bedrooms here are going to be about 1100 right now. You can find some cheaper for sure, but if you want to be in like a good area, a newer place, probably about 1100 Hello, Susan. Susan in the house. How's the retail market? Uh, well, retail as we know it is slowly dying. Um, you know, every corner you go on, you see empty retail. So, um, yeah, there's retail here over on the strip. I mean, I think that's always going to be there. I don't know what the pay is. I know minimum wage is seven twenty five um, to eight twenty five, depending if you get benefits or not. But honestly, if you're if you have retail experience, I would start getting new experience. To be honest with you, because retail is going to be a thing of the past here and five to ten years so I would start getting some different experience been watching some of your older vids I'll pass on LA though Nevada's the first yeah California is nice to visit I wouldn't want to live there again though Wild animals. No, I haven't seen any wild animals. There's some coyotes if you go down to um, Southern Highlands. I mean, there's coyotes in Henderson as well, but they're just not like in my area. They're more so in the uh, like more rural Henderson, downtown Henderson, Black Mountain, Boulder City. Once you start going that way, you'll you'll start to see some more like coyotes and all that stuff. What's up, Ryan? Ryan's in the house. Nora, hey Nora, nice tank, thanks. It's been hot, so I like to wear the tank tops. It's the thing to do here in Vegas, it seems. If you move back to Orlando, do you plan on moving in? Orlando? No, I would move into the Orlando area, over by Disney. Over by Disney and Universal, probably I would probably get a one bedroom because the prices over there are actually higher than here. One bedroom over there is almost fourteen hundred already, so two bedroom is quite pricey. Jennifer from Illinois. Hey Jennifer. Hey from Houston. Hey Joseph, what's up, man? Just getting off work. Listening to you in the car. Well, drive safe, man. Make sure you're not uh, make sure you're not texting and driving, man. I wouldn't want you to wouldn't want anything to happen to you. So make sure you're you're being safe there. Moving to Albuquerque next month. Interesting. I visited Albuquerque on my drive from Florida to California. It's a nice area. A lot of mountains over there. How much are apartments on the Strip? If you want to live actually like on the Strip, you're going to have to live in a condo. They don't have apartments actually on the Strip. So you'd have to do a condo. Um, so you're going to be paying it probably like 1500 minimum plus HOA fees. Um, plus you may have to pay for parking in the garages as, as well. So if you want to live on the Strip, I would plan for at least $2,000 a month minimum. Now, if you want to live over... Um, 
you know, east of the strip, you can you can live there, but I wouldn't recommend anything right around the strip area because there's more crime, there's more homeless, there's more tourists, there's more noise, there's more rowdiness, there's more drugs, just more problems the closer you get to the strip. Where I live in Henderson is only about 15 minutes from the strip, and it's quiet over here. You're away from all the, you know, crazies, but if you want to go over there for the night, you can. Are you drinking Grin? No, this is <laughs> this is caffeine. Because I'm trying to get this video exported. That's what I've been doing for the past hour, and I can't get it to export properly. Every time I export it, it doesn't. It stops playing after a minute for some reason. And I don't know why I've tried like everything, so I'm trying one other thing. And uh, while it was doing that, I just decided I would come on and do a live feed. I get coyotes in the Bay Area. Oh wow. I mean, I guess that makes sense. There's a lot of you know mountains over there, but interesting. Give me your three lucky numbers, 7, 3, and 19. 1,400 is common in Dallas-Fort Worth. Yeah, everything is just super expensive right now. Fung from Albuquerque. So there, you, there we go. We got another Albuquerque in the house. I'm surprised Eaton Commerce hasn't killed off Walmart. Well, the Walmart just has low prices. I mean... They got into e-commerce as well at the right time, so I think they, uh, I think they're good, you know. And Walmart is, I mean, me, me personally, I don't shop at Walmart, not because I think I'm better than Walmart or anything crazy like that. Some people just don't shop there because of that reason, but I don't like to shop there because my local Walmart got rid of. Um, all of the actual cash registers and they have all self-checkout now. The only actual cash register is the customer service one where like the cigarettes and stuff are. But besides that, they got rid of all their cash register positions and they took all the registers out. So you have to do self-checkout. And um, I just don't like that in my opinion. Like when I'm at the grocery store, I want to go, I wanna see an actual person. Like I like having that interaction. If I have like two things, I'll do self checkout. That's fine, but I think removing all of the registers, I I just I can't support that because then people are losing their jobs. People are losing, you know, what they have, and a lot of people don't think about that. Like when you're shopping somewhere and you're giving a company money, you are supporting them. Like people don't put two and two together, but when you give a company money, you are supporting them. So for me personally, I, I just don't support Walmart. Um, are you a fan of Star Wars movies? I've never been a huge fan. I've seen a couple of them. I just know a couple of the characters. So that's why I, I mentioned the Admiral Akbar. <laughs> Thanks for all the info. You got it, Thomas, man. I'm glad it could help you out. Plan to retire. You'll like it here. It's nice here. I'll have to see his Christmas video. Do wear ugly sweaters. I've been to ugly sweater parties, but not in the video. Walmart is cheaper than Amazon on certain items. Big Bear Christmas, Serena. Yeah, it's Big Bear Christmas. Christmas in California, I think I named it. This I don't know why this video is taking forever to export. I might have to get it fixed in the morning. Have you ever been to a Supercross race? No, I've never been too into uh, Supercross. I was always into like skateboarding when I was younger. Never got too into Supercross. Which is interesting because Florida, a lot of people have dirt bikes in Florida, so I was surprised about that. What's going on, guys? Welcome. Oh, I'm trying to see if this video worked. No, same thing. It literally freezes at a minute four. Like, I cannot figure out why this is doing this. I've never had this happen like this. Usually I can fix it very, very easily. Maybe it's... 
And there's not even like a cut or an edit where it's cutting off. I don't understand. Ugh. This is one of the things about like video editing that people don't understand. Like they think you just edit it and it's done and, and you're done in an hour. No, like things happen. You have to edit like, especially when you're like working with clients and you're working with people, they don't understand that like, Sometimes exports don't work, sometimes renders don't work, and then they wonder why videos take long sometimes. Well, because there's a like there's a long process to it. So I'm going to try to export it in 1080 instead of 4K and see if that helps. Um, how about JCPenney? JCPenney's next on the chopping block, man. Their their stock is about to go to zero. Manuela, what's up, Manuela? I visited Vegas, and I won't mind living there for a year. It's always good to like live places for a year and try it out. I always encourage people like the the worst thing that happens is you move somewhere and you don't like it, and then you know you you leave, you go somewhere else, or you go back home, or whatever the case is. It's very easy, you know. If you don't own a home, and th this is why I don't like really encourage people to buy a home until they're 100 percent set on where they want to live because i think what happens is a lot of people go to college they start getting a job they meet somebody and all of a sudden they're settled down and then you know they might want to go somewhere else and they they can't because now they have a house so if you do an apartment until you're like you know really set on where you want to live then you're a little more mobile so Pacific Northwest, cool evening weather. The The weather here is actually very, very nice in the evenings. Like right now it's, let's see, probably like 80, 90. Yeah, 90 degrees outside. It'll be 87 at, um, in 30 minutes. So yeah, the weather here at night is really nice. And then the other nine months that it's not like blazing hot, it's really nice as well. So... Victor is at Sam's Town. What's up, man? I've never been in Sam's Town, actually. That's a popular one with like locals over here. Uh, which protein powder do you use? I don't use any protein powder. I just eat food. At the end of the day, like protein is protein, and it's always better to get all of your nutrients from a natural source, like real food, versus a you know processed powder with sugars and flavors and colors and all that other stuff in there so now you can do a protein powder i'm not like against them but if you can get to real food then real real food is always better for sure push the like button people i say it every time but there's just some people who will never click the like button Do you ever go to St. Simon's? I've never heard of that. I'm not sure what that is. How is it adjusting from humidity? Um, For me, it was fine. I mean, I lived in California first, so I moved from Florida to LA, and I was there for a year, so it was probably pretty easy for me to adjust to it the the hardest part was just the dry heat i guess um it depends like when my friends and family have come to visit i've had friends that have gotten like nosebleeds you know some that almost have heat strokes they're not used to the heat so i mean most of them they adjust in like two or three days but i i I, I don't like the humidity at all. I definitely don't like the humidity. But the one thing I will say is it's nice to have some moisture in the air because I will tell you, I mean, I see a lot of older people who live here and I'm telling you they ha their skin is just so dried out from the dry air and the dry sun and the heat. You know, always having that dry weather is, it, it definitely takes a toll on your skin, especially if you don't moisturize all the time. Sam's town is wonderful. Hey, May. Hey, May. 
amazing house has a very nice vibe just did some night swimming have a good night have a good night about to play some blackjack hey Victor and Lisa what's going on guys in Sam's town so welcome to Vegas hope you guys have a great time minor nosebleed when I went in April yeah if you're not used to the dryness you may have like some initial adjustments at first that you have to make Just did some night swimming. Oh, I just read that one. It's near Jack's Beats. I was like, I was swimming through the air in Orlando. Yeah, the first time that I went back last year, it was uh, it was a shocker to me. You know, growing up there and living there, I never truly noticed the humidity. It wasn't until I actually moved into another climate and was gone for you know a long time, and then coming back that I truly felt the humidity. So, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely there. Major pain, 30 watching, only 20 likes. Unfortunately, that's YouTube, man. People don't, I don't understand. People just will not hit the like button. It's like I'm asking them for $20. Like, just hit the fucking button. I don't understand it. Manuela, thumbs up. I agree. If you guys like, honestly, if you're watching the video, you like my content clearly, at least support the channel and support what I do by clicking a button. Click a fucking button. I'm not asking you for money. Just click the button. That way more people see the stream, see the video, and more people get in the chat. And we have more entertainment here. So, I don't get it, but... Thank you to those of you who always are here, always hit the like button. I do appreciate it. If everyone always hit the like button, what would be the point? Well, you're supposed to support the creator. If you like the creator's content, you're subscribed, right? Like you're subscribed to me, so you like my content, right? So you should hit the like button. I mean, like, if you're here and you, you don't want to hit the like button, just leave. <laughs> and if, if you don't like the content, then why are you here? I, I mean, honestly, if you don't like the content, why are you here? So, anyways, enough on the like button. Dottie, what's up, Dottie? Dottie's in the house. Dottie, Dottie's gonna get on it. She always, she always talks about hitting the like button. <laughs> if everyone hit the like button, it would be washed out. No, it helps to get pushed up. Like, so if you're subscribed to like 50 channels, you know, and you always like these content, these videos, it's actually gonna give you the notifications, it's actually gonna pop up in your feed, you're actually gonna be notified that there's a live stream going on. If people don't hit the button, then they're not gonna be aware of it, you know? If someone's watching and not logged in, no, that's true, if they're not logged in, they can't hit it, 100%, but most people are logged in. It's really not that serious, is it? It actually is. Like, people don't realize that that actually really, really helps. Like, the whole point of doing these videos is so people can join in, people can watch, people can interact. It really does help, guys. Like, if you don't make content, you don't understand. But it actually really does help. I'm new to this. How do I hit 
the like button while live stream is going. It should be on the bottom if you want to hit it. It's it's where the, the button usually always is. So if you pull up the stream, there's the the button that comes up. I think he's allowed to want more people to interact with his channel. I mean, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, like, look, Cosmo, we're not, we're not upset. Like, if, you, if you're going to sit here and, and be upset that we're wanting people to hit like, I mean, just leave. I mean, look, at the end of the day, nobody is getting upset. It's just it doesn't take any effort to click a button. But people don't want to do it. If you don't want to be here, Cosmo, then just leave. Back out, hit the like button, then hit live chat. Yeah, if you go there, if you pull, like, you got to pull the chat away and then you can see it. Let's talk tacos. I like tacos. Tacos are always good. Love that you keep it real. I always keep it real, honestly. I mean, look, if people are either going to like me or they're not, I'm not going to sit here and bow down to people that, oh my God, I, I have to have you subscribed. Oh my God, if you unsubscribe, I'm going to be, I need to do what you want because I want you to stay sub. No, like, no. Come on, guys. Are there many churches there? I don't see many. They're quite a bit, actually. There's like a church almost on every corner, to be honest with you. There's quite a bit. I mean, Central is by far the most popular here, but there's a ton of churches here. Um, how's Mexican food? I haven't really had too much here. There's a lot of Mexican food here though, but I haven't really tried too many. The only Mexican food that I've tried was actually at uh, Green Valley Ranch. And it was okay, it just wasn't super authentic. They need a love button, we love you Tony. <laughs> I wish, I honestly, YouTube should put a love button and a, and a thumbs up instead of a thumbs down, but. Doesn't matter. Some people can dish the real. I can take anything, bro. Like I'm. Not, if you're talking about me not being able to take anything, that doesn't even make any sense. You can be entitled to your opinion all you want. Best city to open daycare. I have no idea. There's so many cities in the country. That's like a super broad question. Wherever there's the most kids. <clears throat> Devin, so you'd rather lose subscribers? Look, if people want to unsubscribe or if people want to subscribe, that's not my business. Like, I don't sit here and, and like, worry about subscriber numbers like it's always nice to see the channel growing it's nice to see people watching but i i don't lose sleep over the subscriber number like i love having a community i love seeing it grow and i love seeing people who come in here and, and always want to uh you know support but you know it is what it is cheryl what's up cheryl Cheryl's always on here. Uh, 
I was trying to change so it wasn't working. I would like to know who has the best in Vegas. I've heard, let's see. Oh God, what's the name of that restaurant? Um, Megusta, Megusta Tacos I hear is pretty good. Let's see. Um, what's the other name? Let me see if I can find it on here. I always like Chipotle. Obviously, that's not <laughs> that's not real Mexican food that you guys are looking for. Um, Roberto's is super popular, but I think it's like a fast food type restaurant. And then Tacos and Beer is really popular as well. I think that's pretty authentic. And what's the other one? Tacos Mexico, I hear, is pretty good. And that's on the north end of the strip, Tacos Mexico. So... Mm -mm -mm. What kind of chair are you sitting in? It's from Ikea. I don't remember the exact name of it, but somebody asked me last time about the chair. The chair is like a hot commodity. Let's see. chair let me see if I can find the name of it again it was like 70 bucks that's the name of the chair there mill mill burgett Everybody can't be pie. I'm not trying to be PewDiePie. I mean, clearly, Devin, like, we're not going to agree on this. So, Serendipity. I've been to, there's a Serendipity restaurant in um, New York that I've been wanting to try for a long time that I hear was pretty good. But I haven't seen any movie by the name of that. If you fly into Orlando, will your relatives pick you up at airport? Uh, I would probably, I would probably get either an Uber or um, my buddy would probably pick me up over there. Going up, what were some of your favorite video games? Anything on Nintendo 64. I played some PlayStation as well, but I definitely was an N64 guy. Mario 64, GoldenEye, Mario Party, Super Smash Brothers. I think I said Mario Kart already, but Mario Kart. Star Wars fan, what's up, man? Star Wars fan would probably know a little bit more about Star Wars stuff than I do. <laughs> Serendipity is awesome. I went to the one in Miami. I didn't know they had one in Miami. I only know about the one in New York. That's interesting. I liked his games. Donkey Kong. Yeah, Donkey Kong 64 was dope. Was a dope game. I was addicted to that game too. I always forget about Donkey Kong. He's kind of like a shadow. I don't know why. expect everyone I don't expect everyone but I mean a good percentage should 
But enough on that. I don't want to talk about that anymore. Have you ever been to Zach Bagan's museum in Vegas? No, what is that? Let's see. That's a haunted museum. Hmm. Haunted Museum, downtown Las Vegas. Hmm. No, I never heard of it. It looks interesting. I'd be willing to check it out. You please do a live stream around Green Valley. I've done one probably about, I don't know, what was it, a month ago, two months ago? I did one walking to um, Green Valley Resort. But I, I definitely want to do more. It's just, it's too hot right now. Like, I see other Vegas guys that are still doing walking tours, but to be honest with you, it's, it's just too hot. It's way too hot to be out there doing those tours. And not only because it's hot, like, temperature-wise, but the phone will overheat like it's I, I literally wouldn't even be able to do a live stream like I don't know how some of them are doing the live streams maybe they have a white phone but my phone when it gets into the heat like it just overheats and you're not even able to use it um, Ocarina of Time was a good game for sure any Zelda games good? Do you gamble? No. I, I used to gamble when I was back in Florida, but it was like only a couple times. I had a friend who lived by one of the casinos in Tampa, so we went down there a few times, but I would never really end up winning too much. I would win a little bit, and then I would get a couple hundred bucks, go to the mall, and then head out, and then... I just started losing too much, but no, nah, I don't really gamble. N64 had been let for use CDs. There's a reason why it didn't use CDs. Um, I was watching actually a video about that the other day. It's mostly because I guess something to do with like 3D worlds, they weren't able to produce that same thing on the CD. That's why whenever you're playing like PlayStation games, there's a lot of loading going on. Susan, enjoy your videos. Well, thank you, Susan. Have you ever heard of singer Tony Orlando? I have not. What kind of music is it? I missed one, do it to the casino, I can wait. I still have the video, like I leave the videos up. Um, let's see. Once in a while I won't leave a video up if it's live, but for the most part I leave pretty much every live video available. Let me see. I'll see if I could find the link, but um, it was one of the first live streams that I did actually. Yeah, here it is. Walk with me to Green Valley Ranch. So that's the link right there, Dottie, that I just sent for uh, Green Valley. But yeah, I'll do. I'll, I want to do another one. Just it needs to cool down first. You ever play craps? No. When I played, it was blackjack, but usually video blackjack. Oh, NBA Jam. NBA Jam was good. I completely forgot about that game. That game was really good. That was always fun. Always fun game. And then NFL Blitz. That was good, too. Like, 
I'm struggling with the decision to move to Sacramento or Las Vegas. Well, Sacramento is not too different from Bay Area, I don't think. I've never been to Sacramento personally, so I can't speak on Sacramento, but cost of living is going to be much more affordable in Vegas. Um, obviously, you have the difference in the weather patterns, but mostly the cost of living is the thing that you're going to have to decide as far as choosing between those two or wherever you have more if if like the cost of living isn't a huge concern then maybe it's just wherever you feel like you're gonna have a better life better opportunity closest lottery is georgia yeah they don't have a lot of stuff alabama's pretty strict with stuff like that Living there, have you got burnt out on anything that surprised you? What do you mean by burnt out? Like things that I started doing that I kind of got tired of doing or what specifically? Real rare TV. What's going on, man? Welcome. Just sub to you. Well, thanks for coming on, man. I'm glad you could come in or or I hope I don't know if you're a man or female, male or female, but thanks for coming on. We're glad to have you here. It's cool that you could catch us live while we're hanging out. This is really just a live chat, just hanging out. Um, nothing real specific, but if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm glad to answer them. It's been a lot of winters in my state. What are the usual crowds like? In Vegas, like the average age that you see um most people are like 20 i would say like 22 to like most people are young there's there's not a lot of like i mean there is middle age but like there's like young and then there's like retired there's not a whole lot in the middle like there there is people in the middle of course but like it's like you have the two ends of the spectrum but um that totally depends on where you live as well like over here in Henderson, that's kind of what it is. Something you don't care to do as much that you used to look forward to. Um, I don't know, because honestly, I didn't really intend on moving to Vegas, to be 100% honest. So I wasn't like moving here with like looking forward to really much. So I don't know. When I first came here, let's, th let's think about that. That's an interesting question. I don't know. I can't really think of much as far as that goes. That's a good question, but I'm kind of stumped on it. But I mean, I like to go hiking. Like I like to go hiking. There's something I like to do. What's the best buffet? I've only had one. I've only had the buffet at Green Valley Ranch, and um, that one's good. That one's really good. What kind of content do you do? I just share my different experiences through life. I mean, the thing that has really started the channel growth has been videos about Las Vegas, but I'm not a, like there's there's channels that are, that's all they cover is Las Vegas. But like me myself, I feel like I have a lot more to offer. I don't want to put myself into a box where I, I have to make everything that I post about Las Vegas. So, I mean, of course I'm still going to post about it. The videos are doing good, people like it. So I'm still going to post about it. But it's not going to be like this channel is only Las Vegas. So do a range of content. Just sharing my life, my experiences, all that stuff. He live streams for us regular knuckleheads. Yeah, I usually live stream my, like at least three times a week. Sometimes more, sometimes less, but I try to do at least three a week. How hot was it today? It was, it was about 102. It wasn't that bad. The weather, the weather is cooling down. I don't think we're going to have any more of like 115 days. I don't think we will anyway. We might, but from here, let's see. It's kind of like middle August. We probably have about another six weeks of degree, like 100 degree temperatures. And then once it hits October, we'll be in the 90s again.
we've become fond of each other through this chat. Yeah, we have. That's for sure. There's a Green Valley, Arizona, just down the road from me. Nice. See, Green Valley here is just a um, just a neighborhood inside of Henderson. I would imagine an area like that had a lot to look forward to, but I forgot you lived in LA and Florida. Yeah, I mean, where I lived in LA, I lived in, you know, I lived in mid-city, so I was around everything. And then Florida, I lived in Orlando, so I was around everything as well. So honestly, over here, it's pretty dead compared to those two areas. Like over here is just a much slower pace. Um, if you live on the Strip, I'm sure it's vastly different. But over here in Henderson, it's it's a pretty pretty slow pace, pretty quiet. Where's Greg? I don't know. Greg, Greg probably will hop in. He usually joins a little bit later. One hundred two, not that bad. It's not when when you're used to like, you know, one hundred nine, one hundred ten going through the days. One hundred two is not bad. And it's not humid, so it's like people always say like hot is hot. You can't really compare it, but I mean it's still hot, but it's not like. It's not bad. I don't know. It's refreshing. Like when I'm inside and I go outside for a little walk, just not like a far walk, but if I go for like a half mile walk or something, it's not bad. If you had any channel names for a new vlog channel, I mean, that's why I just keep mine my name. You know, some people will name it like certain things, but like for me, I just, I just have my name. I mean, I think you should have somewhat of a focus. I mean, I don't think you should just cover like a million different things. Like, so some of the videos that I'm gonna post this week, like I have one, some of the videos, like they're, they're all still kind of related. Like these are still things that like people would be interested in, especially if they're moving. So like I have 10 best ways to save money fast that's gonna be posting this week. And then I have seven side jobs to make extra money in 2019. So like those are two videos that are still very relevant to people who have subscribed to this channel because I mean, who doesn't want to learn how to make more money and save more money, especially people who are looking to move soon. So, um, yeah, I try to like relay everything into, I, I, I try to intertwine things as much as I can, but like there's certain things that I wouldn't post because they would just have absolutely nothing to do with, um, with anything. But, you know, I think you should have somewhat of a, a focus. I mean, honestly, the more focused your channel is, the faster it will grow. Just because, like, it, like, say for example, like, people are searching for Las Vegas content and you have a million videos about Las Vegas content. They're gonna watch more of your videos. They're gonna be more interested in your content. They're gonna see you as the Las Vegas expert. So, like, you know, it does, it does help to have, like, a super focused channel. That's why some people have multiple channels. I've thought about doing that as well. Like, some people have, a channel on finance, another one on travel, another one on like business, and another one on fitness. Like some people have multiple channels. That's something you can do as well, but it's just a lot to manage once you start doing all that. One day go to the M, absolutely beautiful. I've heard a lot of people talk about the M as well. So I'll have to check that one out. Would you ever live on the strip? I, uh... I, I don't have any desire to. I mean, when I first moved here, I thought about it because I thought that's, like, I thought that was Vegas. I thought that's, like, where I wanted to live. But I'm glad I didn't move to the Strip. I would have probably already, like, left Vegas a while ago if I lived over there. But if I was, like, all right, so if I was still, like, 23, 24, absolutely I would live there for sure. I'll put it that way. I like quiet neighborhoods, Uber, head to city, come back. Yeah, that's exactly how it is in Henderson. So if you're into that type of thing, you'd like it here in Henderson. Weather today was good, even on a bike ride. Yeah, the weather today, like even though it was 102, it wasn't like, I don't know, it wasn't that hot. The sun just didn't feel as powerful today. I don't know if maybe I'm just getting used to the hotter, like 108, 109s, but it wasn't that bad. Only way to live. I like my peace and quiet. I agree. 
especially because I work from home and I, I you know, I'm home all the time. Like I, I like it quiet. If I lived in a very noisy place, I would get a little frustrated. It would get old fast. So. Go Memorial Day, the pool party is off the chain. I'm not a big party person. Like if I had friends that were coming here for Memorial Day, I would go for sure. But I'm not really, gonna, I'm not gonna go out there by myself, especially cause like these pool parties on Memorial Day, holy crap, I can't even imagine what they would wanna charge you. They already wanna charge you like 50 to 100 bucks already just to get in if you're a guy. Memorial Day is probably gonna be even more than that. How often do you actually hit the strip? Never. The last time I was at the strip was when I did a live video there like I don't know, a month ago. That was the last time I was there. And that was the only reason I went there was to do the live video, to be honest. And the other time that I went there was when my family was in town. Because, you know, when family comes, they want to always go to those places. So that's what we did. All right, see, now this video worked when I exported it in 1080. So for whatever reason, it just wasn't working in 4K. Interesting. Okay, well. Have you ever been to the Golden Nugget? I've been there like in 2016. But I didn't stay very long. I was just kind of like going in and out of places. I remember you had trouble keeping your phone cool later when it was cooler. Yeah, I mean, once once it cools down, guys, I'm going to do more walking videos and outdoor videos and hopefully do some more, like, vlog-type videos. But it's just, it's just too hot right now to be out there. I don't know how some of these guys are doing it. Like, I could do it, but again, I'd, I the phone would probably overheat. I'd have to bring so much water. I'd rather just wait until next month. Whenever you get steak, where do you go? I would say if I was gonna get a good steak, I, I usually like Longhorn, but they don't have Longhorn here. So probably Outback. I know there's a lot better places, but I like Outback because it's, you know, it's still relatively affordable. Um, how far is Henderson from the strip? It's only about 15 minutes. It's not far at all. You literally just hop right on the 215, get off on the uh, Las Vegas Boulevard, exit, and you're good to go. I want to go next year, maybe stay downtown. Do it. Downtown's nice. I like downtown. I like downtown better than the strip, honestly. Well, now that this video is done exporting, guys, I have to edit the other one. So I'll keep the stream live for till 10.15. So it'll probably go another seven minutes or so. Um, I just wanted to do this while I was waiting for this video and see if I could figure it out and it is good to go. So on to the next one. I can't remember which hotel I stayed at downtown, but it was nice. I like downtown. Downtown's cool. So the person's here. Thoughts on Boulder City? Boulder City's cool if you like being a little more isolated, if you like, um, you know, really quiet area, you like being away from all of the chaos, completely away from the chaos. 
Boulder City is cool, but there's not a lot over there. So you may have to drive into Henderson or Vegas to go to certain things. But Boulder City is cool if you like quiet. You know, you don't really like to be around a lot of people. You want maybe more land. Boulder City is cool. What's the best pizza place? Definitely Pizza Rock. There's a Pizza Rock downtown and there's one in the Green Valley Ranch. I like the one in Green Valley Ranch because it's closer. But they do um, from 3 to 6 p.m. They do happy hour and then from 10 p.m. to close they also do happy hour. So you can get a like a personal size pizza for about 12 bucks. Or not 12 bucks, sorry. For um, about 5 to 7 bucks. And then you can get $3 off drafts I believe. $4 well drinks and then I think $3 off house wine if I'm not mistaken that's what I believe but pizza rock by far is the best it's like brick oven pizza super fresh it's awesome really good strumble and meatballs at the flamingo I don't I've never been in the flamingo that's one of the ones that I actually haven't been into See you, Terrence. Thanks for coming on, man. What was more annoying to you, mosquitoes or love bugs? Definitely mosquitoes, because mosquitoes bite you. Love bugs don't really bite you. They're just annoying, and they get all over your car. And they'll like they'll land on you, but they don't bite. Mosquitoes bite, and it's really annoying. They have strombolis. Yes, they do. I haven't tried them, but they do look pretty good. You hate people, Mike. <laughs> I like people. Um, you know, I like most people, for sure. Surprisingly, that's like one thing that uh, I do miss about not like working. Like I worked in hotels for a long time. And I used to like, you know, when people checked in, like if they were here for a celebration or they had kids with them, like I would send either like wine up to the room or like cookies or something like for the kids. Like I like being around people, you know, whereas now when I'm at, you know, when I'm working, I'm pretty much sitting here. Sometimes I'll go to Starbucks or sometimes I'll go to like the apartment office just to like actually have some people around. So that is the one thing that I do miss. greatly impressed by the food there i'll have to check it out because i think i think in october i might have some visitors coming so probably be at the strip in october all right guys we've got about three minutes left and then i'm gonna finish editing this video tonight just wanted to come on here and say hello Don't mean to be personal. Where were you at when you found out 9 11? Um, I was actually in art class. I was in f fifth grade. I was in fifth grade art class. Go hang out, Tony. <laughs> Hawaii sunset is beautiful. Yeah, I've never been to Hawaii. That's somewhere I still want to go. What is the video about? Well, the two that I'm working on right now are 10 best ways to save money fast and seven side jobs to make extra money in 2019. Those are the two that I currently have that I'm editing, but I have a whole list of, of videos here that I still wanna make. Um, let's see. I wanna do a couple more videos about Orlando. I don't really know what else to talk about as far as moving to Las Vegas, to be honest. I kind of feel like I've, I feel like I've kind of hit a wall about moving to Las Vegas. I don't really, I don't know what else to talk about about moving here. So if you guys have suggestions about like Las Vegas, let me know. Um, Cause I feel like I've pretty much covered most of the questions that I get. So that's why I think, you know, right now I'm trying to expand the channel a little bit. Maybe I'll start doing some more like, I don't know, casino tours, vlogs, different content, all this different stuff. I 
I can always make some more extra cash. Yeah, I think they're good. I mean, they have there's a lot of different ones in here, so they're good videos. And I think like I mean, who doesn't want to save money and make more money? And then these are also just very searchable videos that people will find that are just googling and searching on YouTube for this kind of stuff. Way back October 3rd through 17th. Maybe I'll buy a Stromboli or two. Well, if you're here, let me know, man. Thanks, Tony. I gotta get myself in bed. Yeah, have that tea. I'm actually probably gonna make some tea here as well pretty soon because it's 10:15. What's casino that's out in the desert up north? I think it's Ali Aliante Casino in the North Las Vegas is the one, so... Anyways, it's 10.15, guys. I'm glad we did this live stream. I know this was a uh, quick one compared to what we normally do. So uh, thank you guys for coming on. Thank you guys for always smashing thumbs up. Thank you guys for always being awesome and everything that you guys do. I truly do appreciate it. So I hope everybody has an amazing night. I hope everybody has an amazing week. And look out for some more videos this week. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for coming on, hanging out, and like I said, being so awesome. Thanks, guys.